Hi guys, I'm Jamal Stone. I'm Chantal Eight. We are on our way to Comic Con 2014, our very own custom made, donated by Chevy, Uber car with the Sonic the Hedgehog theme. Also, we have our superhero stuff, Batman shirts on. Chantal, are you excited? I'm uber excited! There's cosplayers, celebrities. Oh my god, Madame Tussauds, they have a little surprise. I can't wait to see it. Marvel's got some announcements. We're gonna see a whole bunch of panels. I'm excited. I can't wait. You ready to go with that? I think this is gonna be uber awesome. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm here with Debbie Barabicious. How are you, Debbie? Very good. How are you? Very good. You are actually more beautiful in person than you are on TV. Oh, you're being too kind. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you're very good looking yourself. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Chalk one up for a win. All right. So we have a very young audience, and we, yes. we love that you guys are introducing some, some new, th new concepts to, and getting, people, getting young viewers yes, learning. excited about so, science. Yeah, so we want to get people excited about science. So tell everybody about your show. Tell everybody what it, like, what, it, what it does, draw our viewers into it. Absolutely. So our show is called Outrageous Acts of Science. And that's a perfect description of what we do. We look around and we take videos that people post on YouTube doing crazy things, like people jumping off of rooftops of buildings or building crazy machines and motors or you know, building machines that can fly and all sorts of incredible things. And they don't even know that the laws of physics and science are operating when they build all these crazy things. So what we do is we're a bunch of cool, edgy, young scientists that explain the, the the reason why all these things work the way they do. So we're trying to make science really fun. And instead of people thinking that science is just some boring topic, that's a complicated equation on a board in a classroom, it's actually in your everyday life. So just look around you and ask questions, be curious. And then you'll find the answer to a lot of questions that arise. It's so great to you get that you're actually helping kids, yes. even adults, learn about science. Did you ever think that you would do this as a career? Like, I mean, I know you wanted to, but did you ever think you'd be doing it on television as a career? Not at all. I never thought my career would take me here. I had a pretty serendipitous path to get to where I am right now because I grew up in Mexico City in a community that's fairly conservative and discouraged girls from pursuing a career in science. I was told by my parents and friends and teachers in school that physics was not only a career for boys, but that I would not have the talent required to achieve that. I know it's pretty backwards, but it happens all over the world still, unfortunately, not in big cities and in other places, but it still happens. And so for me, I was studying philosophy. That's what I started studying because I thought I couldn't do math. And then when I was fortunate enough to receive a scholarship, I transferred to a university in the US to Brandeis and I was able to meet my mentor who was a, a student by the name of Rupesh from India who devoted his time to not only increase my confidence in physics and math and told me that I could do it, but also taught me all the basics so that I could skip the first two years of the physics major and enter because I had a scholarship I only had two years, so I had to cram everything in two years. And so Rupesh really changed the course of my life. And many years later, I became the first Mexican woman to receive a PhD in physics from Stanford University. And that told everyone that we can do whatever we set our minds to do. That my dreams, even when nobody supported me, I, I became very stubborn and I decided to pursue that. And it is possible, even when no one believes in you. I think that's an incredible story. I'm so happy for your success. The show's, the show's fantastic, so I can't wait. You have a new season, right? Yes, yes, please watch our show because we have some tricks. And bear in mind that some of the videos may be real and some may not be real. So keep that in mind when you watch it. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you.